Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the process of stacking um, some Ubiquity NBRs. Uh, this is something that I was going to record on, on the job, but I decided not to because I was having some weird issues and I want to talk about those in this video. So um, please excuse the glasses and stuff. It is late at night. I was just thinking about this. It's fresh in my mind, so I feel like it's good a good time to talk about it. So. If you've ever stacked NVRs before, you'll know that they need to be in a factory um, like reset state, basically. So the new one has to be in a factory reset state. It needs to be the exact same model as the old NVR. Um, so this site that I was working at, we recently just purchased another NVR Pro from Ubiquity. And uh, as I was setting it up, it showed up for stacking. And I'll put screenshots on the screen. I got some screenshots during that. Um, so, it, like I said, it was showing up for adoption. Uh, it was showing up for adoption just like it should, um, but because the firmware wasn't up to date, you had to click update now um, in that prompt, and I'll show you kind of what that looks like, like I said. Um, once the update went through, um, the NVR was completely unresponsive. I went to the MDF at that location with my phone. Um, it did show up on the Bluetooth app, but it was not found anywhere on the network. Um, I rebooted the NVR, and that did seem to fix the issue. Um, except it still was not in a factory reset state, but it wasn't in a setup state. So I don't know what that means for Ubiquity, kind of how that works or anything, but I just know that I had to unplug it again, plug it back in, factory reset um, once more. And actually the update seemed to never go through. So I had to go through the full um, setup of the NVR. Actually on my phone, I went through the setup through Bluetooth that took a few minutes. Uh, and then I connected, um, or then I reset it, like I did another, another factory reset after updating and connecting to the phone, that kind of thing. After doing that, uh, I factory reset it again, and it showed up for stacking again, clicked it, it did nothing, waited a little bit longer, clicked it again, and it finally said it stacked them. So it, it was quite the process, I feel like there should be an easier way, and maybe it was a bug with the version of Protect I'm on. Um, currently, we're running 4.0.33 for Protect and 4.0.6 for the NVR OS. So, yeah, it's just, it was kind of disappointing. I was hoping the stacking process would be easier. I mean, if you think about it, unless you buy two NVRs at the same time, you're not guaranteed to have the same firmware as the new unit and your existing unit. So, um, in this case, it was kind of a hassle to figure out that I actually needed to factor reset the other one after updating it. So, um, yeah, I figured I'd share this in case anybody out there is trying to do this and they can't figure out how, or if you're looking to purchase an NVR and interested in stacking them, um, what you'll kind of have to do to make that work and um, ensure that it's a smooth stacking process. Um, I'll give you some a little more information about the setup just because this video is pretty short, but um, this setup, um, each NVR does have four 12 terabyte drives, total of 48 terabytes, um, with RAID and all that stuff, it's down to 36 terabytes per NVR, which is plenty of storage, let me tell you. The first NVR has been up for about 100 days, and the footage still has not, uh, like, recycled yet, so pretty good. Um, that, that NVR specifically does have uh, 13 2K cameras, one 4K camera. The new NVR has five 2K cameras and nothing else. So um, Unify automatically has been adding all of the cameras to the new NVR, which is great. So it's kind of load balancing it correctly. There's no like failover. So if one NVR does go down, it does not switch over to the other one. Um, you can manually migrate a camera over to the other NVR, but that migration actually clears the camera's history and essentially factor resets the camera to tell it to like dump the footage on the other NVR. So. Take that for what it's worth. Also, the other thing is that if you use Vantage Point from Ubiquity, which is kind of their like, it's a way to view multiple NVRs at once. If you use Vantage Point, you cannot use um, the stacked NVRs with the Vantage Point. So that's kind of a downside. I didn't realize that going into this, it's not a deal breaker by any means, but I do enjoy Vantage Point sometimes because it is nice to be able to see um, a bunch of NVRs at once and a bunch of camera angles all at once, but you cannot do that, unfortunately when they are stacked. So it seems like there's a few trade-offs. Um, one thing I'm still kind of curious about is how the stacked NVRs work with Unify Access. Um, I'm actually running Unify Access on one of the NVRs, the primary one, 
I don't know if that means that unified access only runs on the primary one or if it actually is redundant across both of them. Um, it'd be cool if it was redundant, but I honestly can't tell you for sure. So that is about all. Um, hopefully this was insightful, helpful. If you have any questions, like I said, leave a comment down below. Um, I'm happy to help you. Just wanted to kind of let you know the process that I had to go through for this. It was a little bit more of a hassle than I expected, but still it's unified. It's, it's pretty simple. So um, that's about all for this video. So thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you in the next video.